Hey guys, what up? It is the Guest the Gengar here today to talk to you about the new Pokemon in Sun and Moon that were released today. Now, the only one I've heard about so far is some kind of horse or whatever that was mentioned in the group chat that we had, um, or have. So, sorry if I seem a bit off or just kind of like tired because I just woke up. So, let's hop right into this trailer. So let me just slap this on the screen. And let's go. Wimpod. Um, it's a horseshoe Pokemon, of course. Or horseshoe crab Pokemon. Um, bug and water. Have we had a bug water type yet? Might be a new typing. Um, what's the ability do? So I'm, I'm guessing if it's hit with a super effective move, or just hit in general, or maybe for more than half its health at once, it just runs away from battle. I don't know. Bone Sweet. Bone Sweet is a grass type. I, don't know. I was expecting another grass fairy type because we've been uh, we've been getting a lot of those. Um. I guess it's like an apple or something. I don't I don't really don't know what fruit this is based off of. It kinda reminds me of Cherubito. Alright. Show me what you got. Uh, ooh, a lay. Comfy. Comfy. That's not a name. That's a description. <laughs> Like, now I'm just imagining, like, maybe you go to, like, a Hawaiian luau or something like that, and someone just puts this around your neck, and it's like, ah, oh, I'm having a great time, but as soon as the people want you to leave, like, this thing starts slowly constricting you. <laughs> oh, God. Though I know it will be taken as, like, a hospitality Pokemon. Um... I'm guessing refresh or yo yo muds mud saddle mud saddle oh I thought it's a normal for second ground own tempo all right so I can no confusion and stamina I don't think we've seen that before it looks kind of it reminds me of a, of a Trojan horse I don't know why. Um... Yo, that did nothing. Oh, so when it gets hit, it's defense raises? Alright, that's, that's pretty cool. Alright, this one I have seen. Mim... Mimikyu? Mimikyu? Mimikyu. Alright. Um... Ghost Fairy Disguise. Um, so, like, my theory with this Pokemon so far has been, like, it disguises itself as a Pikachu or whatever, to, like, lure trainers in or whatever, and, like, in wild grass where we would usually see, like, a little Pikachu tail sticking out, like, an X and Y, he's gonna stick a stick up and we're gonna think it's a Pikachu, but in actuality, we're gonna be, like, lured into be capturing this thing. Um, I believe someone said that it was a nice Pokemon, it's just very sensitive to the light, so that's why it wears the cloak. But I do like the typing of Ghost Fairy, it definitely is something new, right? Maybe Clefki I think had it before? I don't know. What? It deflated? Okay, that thing just farted. Why did this build a bear just fart? Beware! Normal fart. Okay. It's gonna get wrecked with that typing. Um. Yum. Huh? Wait, we could host our own competitions? Hyper training? What is it? Just super training? I was only I was only expecting the Pokemon. I wasn't expecting this. 
So hyper training I'm guessing is super training, but better? Alright, those are the trailers. Um, I hope you guys go actually check out the official Pokemon trailer. Um, especially the Japanese one, since I'm not going to be able to review that, because every time I've had it, I've been given trouble. Um, so, yeah, um, if you hold on a sec, I'll go open the Pokemon webpage and find some more information there. So, I'll be right back. Alright, now that we're on the actual webpage, let's take a look at these. Um, so we got Bone Sweet first, the fruit Pokemon. It is a grass type. Um, it's only one foot tall, seven pounds, and yeah. Uh, because it exudes a delicious smell from its entire body, Bone Sweet is popular with Pokemon and people in the Yolola region. Bone Sweet's scent has a calming effect on its humans, so many people with them live inside their homes as sort of an air freshener. Unfortunately, it's sometimes swallowed a whole by a Pokemon and are drawn to its aroma. Um, when running away from the Pokemon, Bonesweet tries uh, Bonesweet flees danger by skipping along the ground since its bouncy movements don't convey as up to others that it's actually in despair of flight. Uh, no one comes to its aid. That's really sad. Um, when it is attacked by enemies, it drives them off by rotating a colic on its head. The downside is it's how dizzy it gets afterwards. So this thing spins or I don't understand um I'm guessing those abilities aren't new so I'm not gonna worry about them um oh I closed out the wrong one <laughs> professionalism guys alright and then beware the strong arm pokemon knowing normal fighting uh or having normal fighting I'm guessing he's gonna be doing all the punchy moves like ice, fire, thunder, stuff like that. Um, when Beware is acting friendly fashion, it swings its arms around. You must never dare to approach Kerosene. It is acknowledged to be a dangerous Pokemon, even in the Alola region. Uh, you may see a warning sign posted near places where it resides. Um, guessing it breaks your back if it hugs you? When Beware grows fond of its trainer, it might show feelings in the fond embrace. But for uh, but force is tremendous. Trainers must teach these Pokemon how to restrain their strength when showing affection. I have a feeling that James is going to get one of these, and it is going to constantly break his spine. Um, Beware may have a fluffy ability. Uh, the fluffy ability has the damage taken from attacks that is direct contact, but in return it also doubles the damage taken from fire type moves. So I'm guessing that means that it's like lighting a stuffed animal on fire. <laughs> Comfey, um, Fire Rail and Trinch, the Posy Picker Pokemon, the Fairy type, uh, 4 inches, and it weighs 0.7 pounds. Uh, Comfey picks flowers and it always carries them around, making a ring of blossoms and spreads oils from its body on it, which changes the flowers so they may emit a soothing fragrance. It has a habit of giving these flowers rings to the spawn of it. The aroma can soothe the body. Uh, both itself and allies. Comfey also helps with the tremendous people, Pokemon, Pokemon centers, and hospitals, thanks to its aroma. So we're probably going to see this a lot in Pokemon centers, or maybe like if there's something in X and Y where the people have like um, what were, like Nurse Gen or Nurse Joys, <laughs> um, but they were out just around places like in the entrance of forests and stuff. Um, when attacked by other Pokemon, it throws its flower at them to create an opening and then it either flees or strikes back. Comfey has the new Tringe ability. With this ability, the Pokemon restores uh, restorative moves, gaining the highest priority in battle. So, I can see that being used competitively. Maybe if you had this in your party and then you use skill swap with a uh, other Pokemon you have. Um, that, like, maybe an Audino or an Audino. Yeah, maybe Mega Audino or something like that. Or, um... Just any healing Pokemon you have, so that way, like, you could always use them to heal up whatever team members you have. Um, let's see. Mud Saddle, the Draft Horse Pokemon, the ground type. Yeah, I'm pretty sure no one really cares about the size and weight, but I just like talking about them anyway. Mud Saddle is known for its powerful body, well, and its, as well as its emotional fortitude. Alright. 
uh, which keeps it uh, from being agitated by anything. It never cries out no matter what kind of trouble it's in, and it defends, or defeats its uh, opponents with a single powerful blow. Its legs are coated in protective mud that the weight of the coating increases force. One kick can turn a, a car into a pile of scrap. Mud Saddle's running speed is not too swift, but the excellent power and stamina it can, can carry on. Uh, <laughs> I'm so bad at this. It can carry on for three days and three nights, and despite dragging loads over ten tons, when Mud Slap, uh, when Mud gallops, it's earnest the power of each hoof clops and dig a huge hole in the asphalt. Uh, Mud Saddle's forbidden to run on some of the. Alola's public roads. I can see why, because that would take a lot of money to like repair. Mud Saddle can have the new stamina ability. With the stamina ability, the Pokemon's defense goes up by one whenever it's hit with an attack. Um, I want to say if you beef these things up in regular attack and defense, this could be a pretty good competitive Pokemon. Um, maybe throw on some leftovers onto it if it's going to be bulky. Alright, so the next one is. Mimikyu. Uh, Mimikyu is the disguised Pokemon ghost fairy type, which is pretty cool. Um, with the ability to disguise, Mimikyu lives life completely covered by cloth and is always hidden. People believe that anyone who sees its true form beneath the cloth will become stricken with a mysterious illness. People in the Alola region are convinced that you must never try to peek beneath its coverings. Mimikyu's health fails when it's bathed in the rays of the sun. So it prefers to live in dark places. It's rumored that's the reason it covers itself with its cloth to avoid sunlight. Um, the rising popularity of Pikachu-styled merchandise around 20 years ago is the reason that Mimikyu makes itself look like Pikachu. In fact, this Pokemon is dreadfully lonely and thought they would be able to make friends with the humans of only like Pikachu. You know what? I'm going to pick it up and use it in my party just for that description. Because it looks like Pikachu, but it's a ghost type, so it's automatically better than Pikachu. <laughs> Uh, I hope I don't remember saying that later. Mimikyu has a disguise ability. The disguise ability allows it to escape the damage from any enemy uh, from an enemy attack just one time, and then it uh, then its appearance changes. So I'm guessing that's what it looked like. It just deflated and farted over. All right, then we have Wimpod. So far, my favorite out of the batch. Uh, what's the last one we have? No, I would, we don't need to talk about Bumps Wade again. Um, Wimpod is the Horseshoe Pokemon. It our horseshoe, our horseshoe crab Pokemon is the turn tail Pokemon also. Um, bug water type and its abilities wimp out. So far, this is definitely my favorite out of the batch. Um, I like his design, the color scheme. And they look, the face kind of reminds me of like a scared Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Wimpods have a cowardly nature and are wary of noises and sudden movements. If you approach them in the group, they will immediately run off. When Wimpod feels threatened, they spit out a poisonous liquid with a uh, stench of its toxic fluid signals to others a danger is near. Despite the extreme cowardness, their curiosity leads Wimpod to tor uh, approach Pokemon or Pokemon that is standing still. Wimpod eat and store anything that they will find fallen on the ground. They also scavenge any garbage that has been dropped in the sea, so they are highly valued as cleaners. They sometimes carry pearls up some valuable items so humans or Pokemon and Murkrow can target them. Uh, Wimpod has a new Wimpad ability. With Wimpad ability, this Pokemon health drops between our below health, uh, half health and metal. We'll run away and swap out with another Pokemon. So, false swipe will not work if you're trying to catch this thing. I can see this and maybe like, um, if there's like lifeguard towers or whatever near beaches, that they would have an area kind of like cut off or like at a certain point where no swimmers can go like any further. And then they just like release a horde of these out for like the night or when no one's swimming. And uh, actually, they could do it when people are swimming because it's mostly cleaning the bottom of the seafloor. And um, whenever it sees danger or something nearby, like maybe a really angry shark pedo or something, that it releases its gases or it's toxic or whatever. And uh, lets all the swimmers know with like the color of the water changing and stuff like that. So yeah, these are some pretty good Pokemon. Um. I really hope that we see some more cool things later in the future. Um, I was definitely glad to hear the news this morning of these new Pokemon. Um, making sure that I did not miss anything else. Um, Alright. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you all had a nice day. So, until next time, bye bye